think we've got this connected here. It's there's a thunderstorm passing over my house right now. So it's a little bit rainy outside and the connection was bad for a minute, but we're here now. So anyways, I just wanted to jump on and give you a little insight on something that seems to be the recurring theme of the day as I'm talking to my clients and my coaching community and business owners. And the thing that I kept hearing coming up today was on confidence and how to build confidence as a business owner. And so I thought this would be an interesting insight to share with you based on a conversation that I had with another coach who is actually in Singapore, which is really cool. And she and I are in the same coaching program. She's a new coach, a newer coach to the program. And she was talking about how she doesn't feel confident in her coaching program and in her coaching offering. And she was asking me what I would recommend for building confidence. This is not an area that I struggle with. <laughs> I have tons of confidence, I, um, but I kind of look at it as two different compartments. There's personal confidence and then there's business confidence. And the personal confidence I think comes from knowing who you are. And in particular for me, I know who I am really strongly. I know what I'm about, what I'm not about. I know what my values are. I know what I stand for, what I stand against, and I know whose I am also. Praise God, right? So those things give me confidence in who I am from a personal standpoint. I'm not going to be talking about that right now. I'm going to be talking about business confidence. And business confidence comes from, I think, instead of knowing who you are, knowing who they are being really clear on who it is that you serve. Who are your ideal perfect clients? Who are the ones that are going to pay you enough for you to want to continue to get up every day and put in the hustle and put it and do the grind? So who are those people that you know that you can serve at a high level, at the best level and give them you know, 110% of your energy, 110% of your effort and get them an amazing result. Um, who are the people that are going to be a joy for you to work with? And what is it about them that you like? What is it about them that you don't like? And what is it that they need from you? And once you understand who they are and what their problems are, and how you fit into their life, then you can start to feel confident because you know you got it. You know you can help them. You know that you're going to enjoy working with them because they're going to appreciate you on a lot of different levels. They're gonna appreciate you just from a person to person level. They're gonna appreciate you with their wallets <laughs> and they're gonna make it worth it. That's the question I think is not who are you, that's self-confidence, but who are they? And that will give you business confidence. It will also help you understand what are the products and services and solutions that they are looking for. And there is such a relief when you finally have that epiphany moment, that aha moment on who they are. That's where the business confidence comes from. So I hope this little insight was valuable today. Um, if you are also on Facebook, I invite you to please join me on my new Facebook group called Boss Women Rock, Rockstar Results Academy. And tomorrow I'm gonna be going live inside the Boss Women Rock Facebook group at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm gonna do about a 30 to 45 minute training on this topic, on how to, to identify your market and how to communicate to them in a way that is compelling, that they understand that you are the person for them. Who is this market? And how are you going to get clear on that? How are you gonna get clarity and get clear on that so you can improve your confidence? So I hope you'll tune in. Again, that's at the Boss Women Rock Facebook group and I'll look forward to seeing you there. All right, bye.